Here we are with a bunch of cases for the S24 Ultra and I don't know about you but I have been waiting a long time for these so let's get into it. What's up guys welcome back to Michael's Tech Talk. So Kadabe, Kadabe are here Finally, with the sheath and the synthesis for the S24 Ultra, and I am so happy. I have patiently, patiently been waiting for these to drop, so I'm so happy that they're finally here. So, let's just take a look at what we have. So, we have all of the colours of the sheath that is currently available. So, we have the black, the purple, and the grey which is awesome and we also have the black synthesis as well that's all the colors there is available in the synthesis at the moment but if you do want to see more colors from Kadabe by all means hit them up in the comments Kadabe will see your comments on this video and give them the feedback and you know if you guys ask for it they'll deliver as always let's get started so we're going to start with the sheath we're all sheath fans right like if you are drop me a hashtag down below uh, hashtag sheaf squad because that's who we are we're the sheaf squad and i'm all about the kadabi sheaf so let's check this out so as always kadabi's packaging we've got our lovely cardboard and there's the black sheaf already oh i am so happy for this the the sheaf last year for the s23 ultra was a really really good case the only thing that let it down was no mag safe and yeah that was that was the deal breaker for me otherwise oh man look at the gray it's so nice and i, I know what people will be saying people will be thinking you know oh michael you you mostly do iphone and all this here and i that's not the case right i i i am a dual wielder i have android as well as ios and I like to have the same case across the board. So like when brands come out with the same quality of case for both phones, I, I couldn't be happier because I get to carry the same case on both phones. It's great. And there is the purple as well. Or the amethyst. Yes, the amethyst. Purple is just too mainstream. We're amethyst people here. Oh, I honestly can't tell you how happy I am that these are here. I've I've waited so long for these. So let's get a quick look at them. So Kadabe have done some improvements. As always, we've got that sheath texture, which is, it's just top, it's just top quality. Uh, on the inside, we do have our microfiber lining. And as we can see, they have added the mag ring setup for these cases. I am so happy to see it. And with that lovely microfiber lining on the inside as well absolutely beautiful it's made with shock light so we've got that shock absorption material that strong tpu there is a lot of flex in this case but uh, you know it's it's just so well made it's just so well made I've, I've seen a few people actually say to me you know oh how is this case different from the likes of the rink ionix and yeah the rink ionix does have a similar texture to this uh, you know that sort of grippy texture, but this is just different gravy. It really is It's it's hard to put it into words But by trust me if you pick up a sheath and you try a Kadabi sheath You'll not look at anything else and you'll go. Do you know what that's worth the money? It really is for the record. This is not a sponsored video at all So, you know if it wasn't good, I would tell you back to it. So and then of course Kadabi have brought the metal buttons and do you know what? I am so happy to see it because I, I cannot wait to try these out. Let's just weigh these cases first. Bring in the trusty scale. 54 grams. 55 grams. 55 grams. Black's a little bit slimmer. It eats, it, it, it eats really well. Let's try this out. So my S24 is black. Uh, so I think black is maybe the one to go for, but you know what? Look at that grey, even on the black phone. Mm -mm. Uh, although with the single lens cutouts, I think the colour of your phone is pretty much irrelevant at this point because uh, you'll not see it. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there we go. Uh, that is the sheath and do you know what? It fits so good. It fits so good. I'm so happy. Uh, so these are our metal buttons. So let's just check them. Oh yeah. 
great. They are really good buttons. Uh, the buttons are also, if you see on the inside, they are coated as well, so they're not scratch up the buttons on the phone. That's a good touch as well, Kadabai, well done. Uh, but yeah, no, the buttons are really great. Clicky, tactile, responsive. Let's just do the fitment test then. So we'll just take the corners, give it a twist, and the phone is not moving there at all. That is what you want to see. Even though it is a pretty flexible case, once the phone's in there, that phone is gripped and it is not moving. And then of course, if we look at the screen lip then, so the screen lip uh, is raised at the bottom and the top of the display. What I do like though, is if you can see these edges do come up over the flat display, and I'm here for that. It is a very minor lip up over the sides, but it's still more of a lip than what a lot of other cases give and I'm I'm so happy to see that. So you set that down flat, you're not going to get any rubbing, you're going to get good lift up protection there. The camera lenses then are well recessed under the back of the case, those lenses aren't popping out. So if you do set that down flat, you're not going to rough up those camera lenses and the phone is completely flat as well. Great, absolutely perfect. And then of course if we look at it as well, uh, for the, the people that use camera lens protectors, you do have spaces here for lens protectors. So if you do like to put lens protectors on your phone, you can protect those lenses and you do have space for it here as well. That is what you want to see. But that sheath texture, man, it's <laughs> it is so grippy and it's, you know, like the phone doesn't feel like when you're holding it, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall out your hand and it is just, it is just fantastic. I'm so happy to have it. With the flattened edges on the S24 Ultra now, see, see the minute I seen about the Kadabi sheath, I was like, do you know what? I have to get the sheath for the S24 Ultra. I hope Kadabi do it because with the flattened sides and the flat display, it's gonna be so good. And this is not disappointing. So on the top then, we've got our speaker hole cutouts there as well. And then on the bottom, we have a gap for the S Pen, so you have plenty of space to get the S Pen out. You've got your speaker and then your cutouts for USB-C and your charging port. So far, so good. MagSafe. So we can do a MagSafe test because we have MagSafe magnets. And if you just have a look there, that's where the magnetic ring is. And this is a round MagSafe accessory, so it doesn't quite cut off the bottom camera on the S24 Ultra. However, uh, more square accessories you will still get that little sort of cut off. It is the trade-off, it is, unfortunately, it's because of the camera lenses on the S24 Ultra, it's where Samsung put them. Nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. MagSafe strength, so let's just check how good these magnets are. Oh, that is what I wanna see, yes. That's what we want. And that'll segue then into our S Pen test. So uh, let's just double check. So obviously we've got mag magnets in here and they're pretty good magnets. So we will check to see if they do interfere with the S Pen. So let's just see. So we'll just draw some straight lines across where the magnets will be on the phone. And yeah, we have no issues there. No breaks in those lines at all. Perfect. But that's obviously without a MagSafe accessory on the back. So let's just stick this battery pack on and see if that makes a difference. Oh. Back. I don't really push down hard enough on the S Pen. I, I don't know why. And then sometimes when I'm writing, you can see a little gap on some of the lines. So I need to make sure that I'm properly pushing down. But look. Look at that. Ooh, I got a little break there, did we? That's very, very good. So this is a S Pen test. There's a few little tiny breaks there, but you know what? That That is a, one of the best cases that I've actually seen that do in a, quite a while, to be honest. So I'm really, really happy to see that. So quickly, we'll just quickly try on these other colors then. Oh, look how clean that is. 
That is really, really nice. And there is the Amethyst. Is, do you know what? That's really sharp as well. That's so nice. Uh, and then those purple metal buttons. Top. Top quality. I'm so happy. Guys, that is the Kadabi Sheath. Hashtag Sheath Squad. You know yourself. And then lastly, we have the synthesis. And of course, if you didn't remember, this is also Kylie's favorite case because she can say the name synthesis very, very well. Okay, so I have the synthesis. <laughs> I really can't say this. Synthesis, synthesis, synthesis. <laughs> synthesis. <laughs> okay, so I have the synthesis on and... <laughs> Now, I'm going to be straight up with you. I, I am a big fan of the Kadabi Sheath. I am also a big fan of the Kadabi Synthesis. So much so that it's what I'm using on my iPhone. So, uh, yeah, this year, because the Synthesis is the one I've, I keep going back to. So let's check this out. And do you know what? I... I really like the design here, what they've done. They always do something a bit different around the camera guard with uh, the synthesis, and I, I really like this. And then of course we've got this cracker textured uh, side grip down the side, which is just a key characteristic of the synthesis. I really, really dig it. And then we've got that sort of harder protection there. This case is stiffer than the sheath as well. Uh, it's definitely more rigid, but look, metal buttons as well. So happy. And then of course on the inside then we have the same uh, the same as the sheath. We've got the made with shock light, shock absorption. We've got the microfiber lining to protect the back of your phone. We've got our magnetic layout. And then we have uh, covers over those buttons as well so they don't scuff up your buttons. Let's just quickly weigh this case. Forty nine grams. It's a bit lighter than the sheath. It's a slimmer version. Uh, so let's just pop this case in here. So I I have been excited. Oh okay okay okay. okay. Uh, so let's just check the fitment then. So we just take the corners. We give it a twist and yeah, that phone is not moving out of there. So it's not going to wiggle out. It's not going to fall out. Perfect. Just check out the screen lip then. Again, it is very, very similar to the sheath. It is raised at the bottom and the top, and then the sides do come up over the display. So you are going to get that set down protection. So you set that down flat, it lifts it up off the surface, no problems. Uh, camera guard then is same. The lenses don't protrude out, and the case is totally smooth. But it is slightly, you have the slightest little raise here at the top and the bottom of the lip and if you do set that down flat you've got a bit of lift up protection there and you don't get any rocking either that's top and of course then our metal buttons so yeah clicky tactile responsive and they're very very well very very well machined i will say and then our cutouts in the bottom so you've plenty of space for your s pen to get that out your speaker hole and then your usb c and your microphone and then you've your speaker cut out in the top there as well. So is MagSafe compatible? So we can do a MagSafe test. So this is a, this is a plastic, whereas this is more of a, the sheath is more of a sort of tpu -y softer material. This is a harder plastic. So uh, you are a bit more susceptible to marking this up, but is what it is. So again, as you can see there, um, this spins a lot more freely on the synthesis because of the smooth plastic, but the magnet strength should still be decent, so let's just try it. And yeah, there, there you go. And it's taking the weight of the stand. Not a problem. That is what you want to see. I have never been so happy for a set of cases in my life. So let's just get the S Pen test done here. So we just take the pen out and we just, yeah, magnets just as consistent. If we just draw across where those magnets are, we've got no interference there at all. Perfect. And then we'll just take this battery bank, we'll just stick this on. Yep, accessory isn't moving. And then yeah, there's no interference there with that battery pack on either.
There's a little bit there, a little bit of interference. But if you were to write, So the synthesis comes in just black. I would like to see Kadabi maybe do more colors if it is popular enough with S24 Ultra users. So by all means guys, if you want to see more colors, I think this here in gray would just be game over, to be honest. Okay, then I could have gray. What do you guys think? Which is your favorite? Are you a, are you a sheaf user or are you a synthesis user? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I will leave you affiliate links where you can pick these up from Kadabi's website. Affiliate links help support the channel. They don't cost you guys any more money. So if you pick up using any of my links, thanks for your support. Much appreciated. That about wraps up for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button for me. Don't forget to click that subscribe and ring that little bell to be notified of new videos just like this one. Stay tuned. I will be doing a top 10 case for the S24 Ultra. So I will gather up all of the cases that I have reviewed, the ones that I think are in my top 10. I'm gonna do a top 10 cases for the S24 Ultra. So stay tuned for that because you might just see these again. You know yourself. But until then guys, I will catch you in the next one.